What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead universe in Dead City, and I'm asking the question, going to give my review, a little bit of my predictions, and what I think could possibly happen for season two of Dead City. So obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead and the first season of Dead City. But what do you think is going to happen? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. But we are getting a second season of Dead City per AMC, AMC Plus, people on social media, you know, just all the accounts connected with The Walking Dead, they say that Dead City will be back for season two. So I'm excited for that because I thought the first season was very good. I thought Negan carried the show. Lauren Cohen had her moments. We meet some new characters. There was callbacks to Negan, the saviors. It just really worked. It was a good show for The Walking Dead universe to continue on, which is good because I have much love for The Walking Dead universe still. So we met the Dama, who is actually the person in charge. And it's going to be interesting to see what unfolds for this character. What does Maggie mean when she was talking to Herschel at the end of season one, episode six, when she said she has to see it through? or she has to finish it, or or whatever she actually said in the episode. I'm not sure if she's going to help Negan, hurt Negan, or what. Is Herschel still going to be a little punk, a moody teenager? You know, is he going to look to Negan for fatherly advice? Uh, The Croat, is he going to, you know, be connected with Ginny? Like, what is this character going to be about? Is he going to cause problems at the Bricks, which is the community on the show, Maggie's community? What's going to be in store for Ginny? She's kind of a nothing character she's had her moments but will they elaborate on the character will they elaborate on who her father was and really the people of new babylon i think they should explore new babylon they can explore it for half a season i don't think it needs to be all the season but i think it can be a lot more character development with armstrong and the powers that be this is the behind the scenes photo of what new babylon looked like during filming i believe they didn't use this in the episodes could we see it in season two for sure armstrong is a new character that i think helped the show and the series and the walking dead universe more than any other character i mean the crow out was cool but he was connected with negan and the dama could open things up too but armstrong really sets the tone with new babylon and i think armstrong is actually a good guy compared to this woman who runs New Babylon Marshalls or she runs New Babylon. I'm not sure if she just runs the Marshalls, but I think the undertone and what they were trying to portray is that she's going to cause problems with Armstrong's family if he doesn't cooperate. And the fact that he lied and said that he killed Negan and Negan is very much alive is going to come back around. So, you know, Negan running the city, could we see that? And then when Armstrong comes around with the marshals, because I would assume that Armstrong is going to lead the group of marshals into the city and try and, you know, maybe kidnap the Croat for the methane and learn how to do it. Is that going to be what they do with the Croat and the city in there? And then he sees Negan and so the other people. So it's a problem. And will Maggie and Negan work together like from the beginning, not be tricked to work together and the new Babylon poster forced to work together. Will they just be a team? Not a couple, a team. I do not want to see them together. I do not want to see them romantically involved. I want to see them work together to take out the Dama or take out new Babylon or, or whatever. Like, I don't know what the future holds for Negan and Maggie, but they got Herschel back and Negan has to work for the Dama because she'll just go kidnap again. I mean, I don't know why Negan just doesn't kill the Dama. It's not like there's a million people waiting to avenge her death. Just rise up against her. I don't know who this woman is, why she has power, why she has any say or pull, why the Croat is weak around her. It just doesn't make sense yet because the story hasn't unfolded. Now, the Croat, a lot of people think, including myself, that he could go against the Dama. It makes sense. Because she treats him like crap, he's got some screws loose, and maybe he has enough of the stuff, and the crap, and the BS, and then he goes after. And maybe he dies in the process too. I would love more callbacks, like we had with Simon, and the Sanctuary, and the Saviors. Could Dwight and or Sherry show up? Could somebody like that show up to connect with Negan's past? 
what we see other parts of the city, like Harlem and Queens and Astoria and Brooklyn and the Bronx and, and whatever, you know, we could see other parts of the city and other communities because the Dama mentioned them and there's a lot to talk about and discuss. But what are your thoughts on what's going to happen in season two? I'm guessing it's going to be six episodes. I think that's the direction they're going with these spinoffs, seasons of six episodes, and it's all right. Overall, the first season was good. If they expand upon the stuff that worked in the first season, I think it could be another good season, but only time to tell. Let me your thoughts, post your comments below. I am excited whenever they get a chance to start filming this second season, which I think the plan is still to film in New Jersey and up there in the Northeast, but like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We truly appreciate all of the support. We can't do it without you guys. Anyway, you can support the BT channel. We truly appreciate it. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you.